Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Check the link in the description box below for 15% off your order. When it comes to craft kits, I know that many of them are pretty much trash worthy and Salty Crafter absolutely loves dumpster diving. Does she? Yeah, she absolutely- look at her! Look at her coming out of the dumpster with some craft kits and not only that, she has a new friend, the plushie, which joined us today. <laughs> Why these crap kids gotta be so insulting? <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple crap kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my sister Sika, who is absolutely adorable, but looks are deceiving. Why are you gonna do me like that? <laughs> because it's true. No. She scares me. Oh no, when you do that face, now I look like the bad person. Okay, cool. Aww. Aww. Today we have three new craft kits from Toys R Us. The first one is called Easy to Not Burger and Fries, and I definitely got these because my sister's always hungry. I'm always hungry. Can we eat them? Mm, no. No. <laughs> it's me. Why? And this kit looks absolutely adorable. It also promises a project with no sewing, but we'll talk about it later. I have, I have issues already. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Next we have something that I'm absolutely fearful of. I kid you not, Why I have you even. Why? Why did you bring this in? You're you're doing this to yourself. <laughs> I am. I'm a sucker for punishment. <laughs> I'm not joking when I tell you grains that I'm absolutely afraid of popping balloons. But this kit was right in front of me. It's a balloon animal making kit. I have goosebumps. Oh, can you see this? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I have goosebumps because I am legitimately scared right now. But we're gonna do it. And we're gonna see. <laughs> Right now. Wasn't it mom who used to pop them with her fingernails? With a needle. With a needle? That was her fingernails. And her fingernails. I think that's where my phobia came from. <laughs> and last but not least, we have an STMT crystal soap kit. Why are you laughing? Because when you wanted to say STMT, I thought of something else. Get your mind out of the gutter! Do you even know what I was thinking of? I know exactly okay. what you're thinking of. <laughs> I was like, okay. Interesting soap. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below which one do you have the least hope on. I feel like I have the least hope on the soap kit. Yeah, same. I was gonna say soaps as well. Our first kit. I mean victim. Wait, the other way around. Other way around. It's okay. It's it's, it's a victim. It's a victim. <laughs> That's insulting. <laughs> is easy to not burger and fries craft kit. That was a mouthful. This kit looks absolutely adorable and it really caught my attention even though it was $20 and it was on sale for $12. That's... I just noticed something. Did you notice this when you picked it up? Horizon Group. Yep. For those of you who don't know, Horizon Group makes a lot of craft kits in which many of them turn out to be craft kits. But I have to admit, it does look pretty easy, absolutely adorable. The burgers and fries look like BFFs, like they're like so excited to be together. We're best friends. La 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 la. We're so off it. Even though this is a not kit where you just got a twisty tie, it's called So Amazing. What? It's supposed to be so free. It's the co I guess it's the company's like other branch brand. Does that make that make never mind. I guess you could say they were not telling the truth. Okay, the today's video I'm sorry for all the but actually I'm not sorry. Come here and fight me. Look at me. Actually don't fight me, I'm very fragile. <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise She's gonna wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Look at this! It's actually it's not being sharp. But let's pretend it's sharp. It's very sharp. Very sharp. Make sure you click all notifications while you're there. Alright, time to see what we get inside. <laughs> I was waiting for a reaction. Do you know the best way to not encourage your behavior? Just to ignore it. It doesn't work with us though. Here's what we get inside. One kit for the french fries. One for the burger. And four stuffy thingies. <laughs> you were in my way. These are the choices I made in my life. Stuffy stuff. Four. <laughs> and we also get an instructional sheet. So when it comes to the instructions, this was pretty much our faces. Because it was as clear as mud. But I think we understand. We're gonna try and do this step by step and hopefully we don't we don't mess up. 
Good girl. <laughs> I'm proud of you for not using any other word than mess up. It was really hard. <laughs> So the idea is for the bottom part, we're going to be needing two small ones and a very long one to go all the way around, like so. It's floofing it up. And then for the top part, we're gonna need one big one, one small one. <laughs> Two can play this game. No, no, no. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> and then for the burger patty, we have the brown ones. Oh, that's that's a nice brown. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, I just scratched myself. You scratched yourself? I scratched myself. English number one. <laughs> So for the first step, we take the bigger one, align it with the little one, and then we gotta double knot it. So, Sika? It's my job. It's your job, because you're pretty good at- Pretty good at what? Not knowing what to do. <laughs> wow, you're so- <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! All right, so it's taking us two people, one left-handed, one right-handed, constantly- <laughs> Constantly struggling. I know off camera, just look at our fingers. <laughs> this is, this is what we're doing. Double knotting all the way around. Okay, if you say so. Don't be a Debbie Downer. I am very much a Debbie Downer. Don't be a Nancy nonsense. What? <laughs> so here's the first top bun, and it says we're only supposed to stuff it with half. I don't, I don't think it's enough. I personally don't think it's enough either, but here's half. Oh, okay, it's expanding quite a bit though. Hang on. Okay. okay. Is that good? That's half, right? I think so. <laughs> oh, you're in my way. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm trying to stuff it. You gotta bring your finger deeper. That's what he said. No! But I don't feel like this is enough. Yeah, that is definitely, look at that, absolutely <laughs> flimsy. And we couldn't find any review anywhere. On, or how to make it or anything, like no instructions. Or even if it's a good kit, but this is really flimsy compared to the box. Look. Sika was really into it. I mean, so into making knots that her mouth was... how? <laughs> it was slightly open. <laughs> so the bottom bun is connected to the entire strip. They do tell us to put the entire fluff in there, but I really don't think it's a good idea until we start knotting. Yeah, because it's just gonna come out. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the other half and then get start back to your grains. Let's start putting it in. <laughs> what did you push? Don't make them not know. She's been eating this while I was nodding the other one. Look at you. They're so good. They're really good, but she's been like snacking on them. I only had three. You tried to hide them. <laughs> I was trying to get them out of the can with you. Here, I was eating this too. Sweet tarts, when did you get these? Hashtag feed Sika is still in effect. Yep. I promise she eats. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. So here is the bun. We left a little space somewhere there to it stuff it. So it's kind of supposed to be like the bottom part. This is what a bottom part of a bun looks like. It's kind of supposed to be fluffier. All right, time to stuff it. So here are both our buns and our burger. Our big, yeah. And all we have to do now is layer them. Didn't it look more like this? Yep. So apparently this stack here is supposed to go down with Velcro. So we're going to put some Velcro. By the way, is this kit fun? No, not at all. Is it mesmerizing? Yeah. Because you get so into it's nodding that you're, you're just into it. But it's nowhere near the word fun. A couple of times I wanted to stop. I was like, why, why are we? Why? Why? And your fingers got cramped? Yeah, my fingers got cramped. <laughs> all right, let's just finish this. Magic. So here's our little burger. Honestly, it doesn't look like a burger the moment you look at it, the rest of the bun area. I feel like it would make a way cuter squid or octopus. That's what you're saying, because yeah, like, it looks like little tentacles everywhere, right? So, it does. As a burger, it, it has failed us. And we are very disappointed at the Velcro because the second you try to... It just comes off. Yeah, that's, that's, no. So don't think, yeah. Yeah. You see? It's so tough. Yeah, the Velcro sticks well to itself, but just not to the surface that you want it to stick. I mean, usually I like burgers, but I... not this one. <laughs> Did it keep us busy? Yes. yes! For about an hour and a half at two people for one project. Was it fun? No. Did it work? Yeah. So even though this kit has all the makings of a craft kit... <clears throat> it's meh. It's very meh it's, as an activity. The skeptical cash? Yeah, I feel that way too. So this kit for us is 100% skeptical, skeptical cash. Crash? What? <laughs> you watch your mouth! I think I'm mad she hurt me. And now for the moment I have been fearing this entire video. The balloons. I said stand up! There. 
This craft kit is called Out There, and it's cute, but at the same time, I am so scared of balloons. balloons. I, I got goosebumps again. <laughs> I have no problems with balloons. You don't? No. Story time with Jackie. One time when we were in Japan at a baseball game, oh. do you remember this? Yeah. There was a sweet man behind us, and on the, I believe, seventh inning, everyone blows balloons and releases them. Okay, here's, here's a video of what that looks like in Osaka. And the guy behind me was a little on the tipsy side and kept blowing all his balloons right behind me and they popped. And when I would look back, he would do this. Sorry, 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 sorry. And he did that at least three times and my heart couldn't take it. My little heart couldn't take it. That's so funny. <laughs> at least he was sorry. He was sorry. So at $10 Canadian, this kit seems, I guess, at first glance to be pretty interesting because you get a tutorial book and you get a couple of balloons. It looks like you even get a pump. Yeah, you get a pump, which I'm really excited about because I have trouble blowing balloons. Like if they're not stretched enough, it starts to actually hurt my cheeks. So like, and my cheeks go numb. How do your cheeks go numb? Because the balloon's not stretched enough, so you're pushing air and then like my cheeks go like. <laughs> <laughs> they just explode. Yeah. Let's, let's hear that again. It Apparently hurts. they blew up. <laughs> You can try. Try and blow one with just your mouth. Def, 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 <laughs> English thumb. Yeah, you can try and blow one and see how it feels on your cheeks without stretching the balloon. Let us know in the comment section below. Do your cheeks hurt when you blow balloons? Yeah. Even though this is a cute kit, I feel like some of the identities of these creatures is unidentified. Kind of like, let's zoom into this face. Hello there. My face is definitely 100% a mouse, but the second you look at my body, I'm confused. Am I a snake or am I a dog? Hi, I'm a butterfly and I look like... <laughs> Oh, wow! That's probably because of the color. <laughs> and this kit does promise that we can make 10 different creatures. I'm excited, but very scared, so... Let's see what we get inside. Oh, it's so light. It's balloons, Sika. Don't make me cut you. Wow. Why? Because. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. A batch of very colorful balloons. We get two sheets of stickers. They're both the same eyes. I think some noses too. Is there? Mm-hmm. Where do you see a nose? The circle ones? Everything's circled, Jackie. <laughs> like, are you <laughs> kidding? Oh, watch your butt. Oh. No, it's the tip of the balloon. The noses are the tip. You obviously don't know much about balloons, do you? I stay away from them. They scare me. We also get... What are you doing? I can't. I knew you would... I want to put water in it now. No. We also get the instructional manual with step by steps on the divisions. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Okay. Mm hmm. A dinosaur. Oh, look, it is a sausage dog. Where's the sausage dog? Oh, it is a sausage dog. And then there's a bunny. I guess this one is more advanced. That looks pretty cool. Poodle is advanced. Is this, I don't know if we did What? This is in front of us. No, I think we can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> and um, we also get. Which we totally didn't notice. <laughs> Putting your hair back in place. <laughs> One of my biggest questions is, do they tell us how much to blow the balloon up? Like, is it supposed to be 80% air, 70% air, 100%? But no, all they did was go straight into the... Bending. Bending instructions. It's not even clear in my opinion. Do you want, do you want to start it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, it's not going anywhere. Okay, where's the pump? You don't feel it in your cheeks? No, I feel it in my throat. <laughs> Too fast! Oh my gosh, it actually works. <laughs> Too fast! No! <laughs> what? Too much stuff! <laughs> I can't. Do you want me to Wait, can I touch? Yeah, touch it. It's very. No, no, don't do it more than that. Don't, don't. No. Jackie, look, there's so much space in it. No. Okay, I'll do it this way. It's really fur. Oh no. You're the one that wanted this. I didn't want those. No, it's too firm. There's like no in Where'd it go? <laughs> it flew off. Where'd it go? <laughs> My heart can't take this. Okay. So stop touching. <laughs> it's making so much noise. I'm trying. Stop. I'm trying to tie it. So we couldn't find the other one. We lost it. And then Sika is now made another one. I'm not gonna beat you with it. Like, <laughs> calm your. Oh. <laughs> this is really scary. <laughs> I really wish that they gave us any kind of instruction in order to tell us how do we make these little separations? Do we pump, twist? I don't know. When you see clowns do it, they have a whole thing and then they just start twisting. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, you go ahead. Let's do the swan. I thought it was a snake. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So go with this one here. It's just three equal parts. So I'm scared. <laughs> All right, I have three equal parts. You bring number one to the mm. number two, and then number two to number three. I don't get it either. They didn't say step-by-step -step instructions, but their instructions are not clear. All right, we'll get back to you, Grace. So Sika thinks that she's figured it out. swan and we could put the sticker of the eye on it so here's Sika's swan and it's kind of lazy eyed why'd you only put one eye because we're saving stickers, <laughs> we're saving stickers. <laughs> all right so i'm gonna try to do the butterfly which requires five twisties i don't even know if i could do one twisties i'm gonna do this because i know that some of these balloon people do that i swear if it pops i'm gonna lose my salt how far? Oh, pretty far. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. That's good enough. Okay, so by the way, Grains, I am doing this for you. I am petrified of balloons. They don't give us much leeway here, so... How did you tie it? I don't know, I struggled a little bit. That is tough. Please. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <gasps> I got it. Look how firm this is. I mean, look. It's barely bouncy. I know we have this much space. I don't trust the fact that it's not gonna pop. Okay, so near the base. Did you just twist it? Yeah, you just twist it. Hmm. Twist. Hmm. Twist it. Do you want me to try and twist it for you? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Watch him Watch him out. Oh, let me try it. I, I want to try Oh. No, why did you untie it? So you could try. No, but I didn't want to try the first one. No. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let me try the middle one now. Here. You good? Yeah. That's a terrible sound. That's terrible. Oh, oh. This is for you, okay? Can you do it? And then you're gonna bring number three the same way. All right. And then you wrap it. And then you're gonna twist four and five around the center of the body. I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, I think it needs more air because it's not uh, long enough. So Sika is really, really involved in making the butterfly. So how do you feel about that? We needed a larger, a larger, a larger balloon. Like my finger is just. They really. Sh if this is a kit, they should have added something that at least helps you tie it. Can I get it? No. <laughs> Your face. Ah! I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it just blew up. No. I almost got the knot. Let's see. Let me see the knot. Okay. It just blew up right down the middle. Oh, no. oh, all the way down. Yeah, all the way down the middle. Oh, this up until here. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> And so for us, the instructions were terrible. The balloon quality seems to pop when you try to just... Put a knot in it. Okay, Sika, this is very distracting. Give me the balloon. I'm not doing anything. Give me... I don't have anything in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> she I dropped it! <laughs> she dropped it! For $10, you could probably get more balloons than this. And you can find the instructions probably way better. On like YouTube or something. So for us, this kit at $10 is 100% going in the trash. And here we caught the wild Sika eating right before the camera goes on again. I don't need anything. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you compulsively lying? I see you. I see you, child. Go on. <laughs> Our next kit is STMT Crystal Soaps DIY. Even though I did say at the beginning that I have the least hope on, everything so far has been pretty Trashy. Blah. <laughs> Trashy is the right word. So I feel like I'm putting a little bit more hope on this one. Please give us soap. It um, says something we love to say. Our favorite sentence, which is... Includes everything. The other way. In Includes... Which way are you going? That way. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Includes everything you need. <laughs> So it better, it, it definitely 100% better, better include, include everything, everything. <laughs> <laughs> resolve sink. 
But I have to admit, the effects of the Galaxy on there look absolutely gorgeous. Our biggest concern has to do with glitter because Sika noticed that some trashy glitter in there. So we're probably not going to use it because it, it's not good for the environment. Exactly. Don't ever use non-biodegradable glitter. And most of these kits don't do it. I don't think I've ever seen a kit with them. Because they're expensive. And at $20 Canadian, this kit was on sale for $11.98. You want to take over the show? Sure. Hey, Grains, this is Nerdy Sisters. <laughs> hey, Grains, this is Nerdy Sister Sika. I'm taking over the show because I'm better. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I, I don't approve. <laughs> I 100% don't approve. <laughs> I think I did it. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I have big girl pants on. <laughs> yeah. So if we look again at the back of the box, we're going to see that the galaxy effect still is really pretty. And the only way to know whether or not that's what we're getting is to see what we get inside. That was going straight from my face. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Three soapy soaps. Four different colors. I think the colors match the scent. So here we have orange. No, I don't think oh. there's no scent to it. No scent? No, it looks like just color. That's kind of boring. A crystal mold. It has no scent. It legitimately has no scent. Why are you ignoring me? I am really sad right now. <laughs> I'm like moving on. Oh no. So this is really disappointing. The fact that we're getting a soap kit with just colorant but absolutely no, no scent, scent whatsoever. This is... Mm, mm. It's getting worse, isn't it? Yeah, but maybe it works. Maybe. We'll see. We also get a pack of iridescent glitter. Unfortunately, this is not... Biodegradable? Yeah, but... It, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, this is not biodegradable, so please, Grains, stay away from things that we can flush down the drain and add more plastic to our environment. These things... Use them for things like resin or permanent type projects. Don't use them for things that you're going to push down the drain. So this is a no. And last but not least, we also get an instructional manual. And so... Time to cut a soap. That's a very large pointy thingy you're waving there. I'm dangerous. I have been disarmed. Oh, she's dangerous too! So as per the instructions, we're going to take one of the blocks of soap cut it into little pieces, and then put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds until it's fully melted. And now at this point, we have to work really quickly because the colors can only be mixed inside the mold itself. So here we go. We pour. What colors are you going for? Um, what colors do you want? Oh, do you like purple and orange? Sure. So one bar of soap made two and a half. All right, we gotta work quickly here, Grains. I'm gonna go for rose and green. It said two to three drops of two to three colors, right? I think so. And they said not to stir it too much. We want the color, it should be enough. I wonder if it even got to the bottom. That's exactly what I was That's skeptical about. That's a curious about. question. It is a curious question. It looks like vomit. I know. Now we wait for 60 minutes. One hour later. So here we are an hour later and here's our crystal. It looks terrible. It was already starting to film before we finished doing the colorant. It was just making like this milky layer of... On the top. On, on the top. All right, so which one should we unmold for, for first? Wow. 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 English. So hard. Here's English. I'm gonna eat it. It better help. Oh, it went away. You weren't fast enough. What did I tell you being careful about English? It just runs away. I can't help if English keeps going away from me. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> so are we unmolding yours or mine first? Yours. So just so that you know the difference, Sika mixed it with the spatula that they had so it was a wider angle. I used a toothpick, so there should be a difference in both. The question is, did the color go all the way down? The answer is... Let's find out. Wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. And... You could see Sika's involvement in this. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Oh. oh. Kinda? It all kind of stayed on the top though, do you see that? Yeah, so using a toothpick didn't go all the way down. Even though the colors seemed like they were starting to blend and make a brown on the top. It somewhat got... Yeah, it's like the sides only. Yeah, not good enough. Now let's see with a wider angle. That one came out faster too? Nope. Kinda. Only the sides. And you used orange? Yeah, purple and orange. So we can see that it was starting to be more in the brownish side. So does it work? Kinda. Let me rephrase that. Did it work? Could have been better. Which means that having this kind of look results in mixing it a first, lot more, yeah. pouring it, and then putting a couple of drops of the extra color that you want. Yeah. That's my guess. Which means that their instructions is wrong. Garbage. 
stupid. <laughs> stupid. 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 In essence, the technique doesn't work. It has no smell to it. It's just pretty much melt and pour soap. So this means that this kit definitely belongs in the trash. Smooth. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. If you don't know Raycon, you're in for a treat. Normally, I am meh about earbuds. But when I first tried Raycon, I have to admit they are absolutely fantastic. Usually I can't hear very well, so this one just made me experience music in a completely different way. For those of you who don't know, Raycon is co-founded by Ray J. And celebrities like Snoop Dogg are pretty much obsessed with it, like me. What I love about Raycon's Everyday 25 earbuds is not only does it have six hours of playtime, easy pairing for, you know, dorks like me, is that they have a really compact design that comes with so many options to best fit your ear. As someone with small ears, thank you very much. One of my favorite things is that there's nothing sticking out out of these earbuds, which means that laying down on the pillow, watching my favorite TikToks, means I don't get any kind of pain in my ear, so. Not only that, but look at how many absolutely adorable colors they come in. And if you haven't been convinced yet, many of you grains have actually emailed me telling me how much you love your Raycon earbuds, which start about half the price of other earbuds on the market without any compromise. So check the link in description box below, buyraycon.com forward slash nerdy crafter for 15% off your order. And so today's salty crafter dumpster diving into Toys R Us shows us that these craft kits were mostly crap kits. So if you want to watch a previous cash or trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, check it out down here. If you want to reach Sika, you can find her at nerdysister underscore Sika on Instagram. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.